a lot of the content is um, hyper-focused on exercise selection and specific variations of different exercises. The best exercise with the right exercise is so you'll need a special exercise to target it. If you're looking to get wider arms, guys, there's no way around this. This variation instead, this variation, and it was this, and we call this a drop curl. And the content that gets the most views is centered around that. When it comes to arm training, it's not that complicated in terms of the exercises. And it's more about how you do the exercise or how you do your training rather than the specific exercise you do. You want to create this like cocktail that that encourages the muscle to respond by growing. I would way rather have control over my intensity, my rest time, my rep range, my volume, my tempo, than and have somebody force me to do a certain a certain exercise for a muscle. Given that it's like a half decent reasonable exercise, I'm good with that. As long as I can push really hard, rest a decent amount of time in between sets, track my progress and work to increase the weight I can do in the eight to 15 rep range, use a couple of different tempos, do an adequate amount of volume, hit the muscle with reasonable frequency. I don't care what exercise you give me really. Sure, maybe some movements are slightly superior to others, but especially when it comes to arm training, it's like you're just bending and extending your elbow. like pick just a couple curling movements. If you're really, really worried about it, do some variations where one, your palm is in a neutral position. Do some hammer curls, do some curls with your palms up. You know, if you really care, maybe do some incline curls with your elbow behind your body. Same thing for triceps. You know, you could do some rope push downs. You could do some overhead extensions, add some variation in if you want, but that's not the secret sauce that's gonna lead to the growth that you want. And it's like the, the, the videos that are getting the most attention, the content that's getting the most attention is, is primarily based around this approach. So I just want to say that I think that we should try, I want to encourage people to expand beyond that and, and take that information as, okay, this is like a piece of the pie, but it's very small and understand the nuance of why it's most appealing to you and why it's kind of, um, you're drawn to it because it makes it seem as though the process might be easier than you think. And it's not saying, oh, you know what? It's actually not that complicated and just pick a few movements, but you got to work your fucking ass off and never miss sessions and be consistent for years and push to maximum intensity and then scale your training up as you go. It's like, that's a simpler, but like seemingly more daunting prescription. Whereas if it's like, I'm not really going to talk about that. And I'm just going to say like, you need to understand how there's actually this weird trick where if you turn your wrist up, the bicep contracts. So therefore when you do curls, you need to make sure that you twist your wrist. It's like, the end of the day, man, that's like such a small little nugget that's not gonna give you the actual result you want. Again, I do wanna emphasize that it is not false information. It's a part of the puzzle and understanding your anatomy and understanding how different movements hit different parts of the muscles slightly differently, I think is a good component to include in your journey and, and a necessary step in understanding your muscles and your anatomy and how different movements are targeting them in, them in slightly different ways but it's not the thing that's going to lead to the actual results you want. And I think it's better to simplify by just picking a handful of exercises and keeping them somewhat consistent so you can focus on progressing that movement. Whereas if you're constantly doing different movements and changing the order that you do them in, it's hard to track one workout to the next and actually stack um, progressive workouts on top of each other because you're just kind of going in there and getting a pump and focusing on all these different angles and shit. And it's like, how do you actually ensure that that stimulus and demand you're putting on the muscle gets more and more intense as you go? Because that's what ultimately leads to growth, in my opinion, is you have to make it a more intense demand for your body to respond by layering on additional muscle growth. And I don't think the best way to do that is with a whole bunch of really creative variations in different movements. So I think the last thing that I'll finish with is that I'm like a unique example due to some of my injuries and limitations. I've only really been able to do one exercise for triceps for the past like three years, the overhead French press, and that I'm allowed to, I'm able to push that movement with intensity due to some limitations. I would prefer to do some variety certainly, and I think it would be better, but it is a unique example how you can see significant growth with just one movement. I'm not arguing that like doing one specific movement is the best thing to do to increase your mobility or to increase your overall functional strength, not at all. But if you are training for muscle gain, I think that looking at me as an example of like, he's limited, he can only do overhead dumbbell tricep extensions. And I'm a bit limited with biceps. I can do some variation, but I pretty much have to do standing curls, either with dumbbells or barbells or whatever. And just doing those two movements, I've seen substantial gains over the past couple of years. A lot of times the, the best information that you need about something isn't always the first thing you'd reach for or the most appealing thing. And the people putting out the information are a lot of times just focusing on what's gonna get views and what's gonna get traction. 
And I'm not saying that people are purposely misleading or misrepresenting. I've been in this position, <clears throat> so I know what it feels like. But then over time, you're kind of warping your content just based on views rather than what's actually the best information to help people and focusing on these other characteristics of how your program is structured, how you do the movements and how you set up your workouts is way more important than the actual exercises themselves. So focus more on that. Hope that helps you to shift your perspective a little bit so you can make some more gains in your arms, boy. <laughs>